Good day, everyone, and Merry Christmas to you. At the time of this recording, it's December the 27th, and it's just after Christmas. We're still in the middle, of course, celebrating the Christmas season. And as we end another year, can you believe it? I want to take a moment and thank you for your rhythm of faithful giving in 2023. Thank you for your investment into the life and ministry of this amazing church. And as you reconcile your year-end giving in the next uh, couple of days, we really have three year-end giving challenges that we are asking you to be a part of so we can effectively uh, end the year with a strong financial position and touch the lives of others around us. Our first one is this, it's your tithes and your offerings that fund the ministries and operations of this amazing church. And when you give, you are investing in the many ministries that touch so many lives, including your family, on a weekly basis. And our second uh, challenge is our missions goal of $65,000. Bethesda's always been generous to missions, whether it's been commissioning people to go or giving generously to our annual goal. We are touching the lives of people from Southeast Asia, Africa, and in our province and Labrador. Our third uh, challenge is giving to our forward offering. And as you know, we are in the middle of a building needs assessment to determine the challenges in this building and dream for our future. This fund looks so, to, uh, really looks to the future of Bethesda and its investment right now for that future. So we are asking you to give to this fund as we invest toward our future and what God has for us. And lastly, our four St. John's Christmas projects. And by this time, all of our projects are completed. We were a part of 14 plus different projects which impacted hundreds of people, spending thousands of dollars through our care fund and, and the giving that you have, have done through uh, the four St. John's projects. So thank you for that. How amazing is that? Our heart's posture in this season is outward toward the many needs at this time. And so, our four year-end giving challenges are both ministries inside the church and touching lives of others outside the church. And remember, what marks our life is a generosity that grabs the world's attention as it breaks down walls and opens up doors that would never be opened up otherwise. And so you may never know the names of the people you will touch by giving your tithes, uh, tithes to uh, fund our ministries. We, we may never know the names of the 20 plus families that we support through SPAN, nor will we ever meet the lives that are being impacted in the new church plant in Vietnam under the leadership of Kelly and Angela, who we support. But we know that God takes our investment and grabs the attention of a watching world. God calls us to be obedient in our, in our giving, faithful to the vision, and generous with our life. But isn't true? Generosity is not just about giving, but about surrendering. It is giving God all of us because he gave all of himself. So as we end this year, thank you for your giving. Uh, continue to give with all of your heart to these, I guess, three year-end challenges because our four St. John's projects are done now. And so on behalf of our entire team, we want to take this moment and wish you a Merry Christmas and a safe holiday. God bless.